there everyone today we are going to be doing a pretty quick tutorial um, I got asked a question um, on my last video um, if I knew how to um, do um, batch manipulations um, they asked me for uh, Mac and uh, I just wanted to show that uh, there is a way to do it for Mac um, I will be uh, making a tutorial on Mac um, that will be uh, the next tutorial probably probably be coming out uh, tomorrow um, for Windows it, this plugin is super super easy um, you just come here and it'll tell you installing on Windows you just click on this link right here and it'll take you over here and you just download an installer and you uh, click on the .exe and it will install all by itself. Um, if you have GIMP open while you are installing it, you need to close GIMP and reopen it. And then when you click on file, you'll see a new um, thing here that says batch uh, image manipulation. All you do is click on it. And it's a pretty simple and straightforward um, plugin. You just click on add. And you can do uh, batch resizes, batch crops, uh, batch flips or rotates, um, batch color corrections, black batch sharp or blur, get out of watermark, change format and compression, rename with a pattern, and then other uh, GIMP procedures. You can save this set, load a set, um, and it's all pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on add a watermark, just like that, and you can do text. And you can change the font and the opacity of it and stuff. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use an image. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find my image real quick. And I'm just going to click open just like that. And then I'm going to click on adapted size. And I'm going to make this 10%. I want it 10% of the width and 10% of the height. And I want it in the top right corner, so I'm going to click here to put it in the top right corner, and I'm going to press OK, and that's all you do there. Um, your output folder, you go ahead and click here, and I got mine set on my desktop, but you guys can do it anywhere you want. So I got a tutorial, and I'm just going to press OK, and now, wait, actually, I'm sorry. Let me click on tutorial, and I want it in this watermark folder here. Let me double click on that and then press OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the images. You can add uh, single images. You could add by the folders, then add all opened images. So I'm going to add an open folder. I'm going to click on tu tutorial. And then I'm just going to click on add just like that. And now you'll see that we could click here for a preview. This is how it will look. So it's going to be in the top right hand corner and that's good for me let me go ahead and click on maybe let's scroll down here see if maybe yeah there you go so and then if we click on that and then click here to preview it this is what it looked like before and this is what it's going to look like with the watermark up there so this is a really really awesome image um, you could view the changes that you're going to do before you make them and if the guy um we come back here is uh, Alessandro Fran Franciscone. I'm sorry, I, I, I ruined his, his name there, but um, this is awesome, and I really appreciate him uh, making this because it's, it's just super, super nice. And you could also save different manipulation sets and stuff like that. He's got um, documentation here, so if you click there, you can come here and um, you could also download it from here. You can download the sources and all that good stuff. And he shows how you could do the color correction, um, then the live preview, and you could do other GIMP plugin procedures and stuff here. So this is a really, really, really awesome um, plugin here. So then, like I said, I will do a Mac tutorial next. Um, and. I might be able to do a Linux tutorial. I just got it to um, install uh, Linux back on my virtual machine. But um, all we're going to do is, I got it saved out to the watermark, and all we're going to do is just hit apply, 
and it's going to uh, work on all these files and it's going super super fast boom there it is it's done so I'm gonna click on close and I'm gonna close that down let me go ahead and open the folder and now you see that if I click on it you'll see now that we got the images and if I just click through here you'll see that it's on all the images now one thing when you do batch installs you want to um, be careful about is your naming conventions so um, to make it easier and stuff like that it's just that you can name it whatever you want and then go you know zero one zero two zero three just just like this um, I'm not sure if this uh, if this does batch naming or not let me go ahead and see we'll do uh, just a simple watermark again um, this one we'll do a text just like that um, let's make the color that color uh, full opacity and we'll put this in the bottom right corner here um, and press OK yeah I'm not sure like I said I'm not sure if you'll be able to do the naming you might be able to uh, I'm just not too sure and then we're going to add um, folders and we'll click on tutorial and then I'm going to click on watermark because I want to just watermark these images that we already done and let's go ahead and click here and let's click for the preview and you'll see it'll be in that bottom right corner down there let's see here let's add um, and format and compression Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure. I don't think you can do that here. Um, but just did, make sure that you do um, your um, naming that way. It's a lot better that way. And then you ain't got to search through and it'll all be nice and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, we'll come back here and we'll go ahead and let me refresh this. And we should be able to see the the watermark down there yep the water mark down there we we'll go ahead and flip through these here and this is this is super nice really really nice I really enjoy this program and uh, that's pretty much it and like I said there's documentation um, here on how to install it for Mac um, there's another thing there's a guy that's got he makes uh, GIMP builds for Mac OS um, you guys can go ahead and do this, but the, the builds are a little bit behind. It's 2.8.14. 2.8.14 is pretty nice. I'm not sure 2.8.18. Um, they added some new features. Uh, I'm not too, too positive uh, on what they all were or not, but just know that you can go ahead and download this, and it's already got the bent plugin in it, um, and you won't have to do any compiling or anything like that but it is like two versions behind and there was some fixes I know in 2.8.16 there was some fixes that they had messed up in uh, or well they didn't mess up but there was bugs um, so you can do it that way and like I said um, I'm gonna probably do a tutorial and put it out uh, tomorrow for uh, Mac and show you guys how to get that in there and that'll be good so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i do appreciate the person that um, asked for this tutorial now like i said they specifically asked for it, um, it on mac and um, i will get to that next like i said um, but for now if you guys need it absolutely absolutely right now you guys can come here and download the 2.8.14 um, for Mavericks or Yosemite, they got for Lion or Mountain Lion, um, and then it goes down to 2.8.10 and stuff for Snow Leopard and stuff like that. But um, for Lion and Mountain Lion, the uh, build that I got, I got Yosemite, so um, this would be a good way. And like I said, there was just some bug fixes in 2.8.16, 
and in 2.8.18, um, that's probably the same. There's probably more bug fixes. But um, I hope you, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was really quick, really short. You just take and click on the .exe on Windows, and it installs itself. And boom, open up GIMP, and you have it right here. So please like and subscribe, and have a super great day. Thank you.